Hi, Drew Thompson, Market Development Agronomist with Pride Seeds and coming to you today from beautiful Elgin County in southwestern Ontario and we are really close to, uh, to the season to start putting seed in the ground and that's got a lot of conversations around how deep we should be planting that seed, particularly thinking about corn. And that's a very important topic but what I want to talk about today is, is how do you actually measure the true depth of the seed? And there's lots of different uh, theories and ideas which causes some confusion. So what I'd like to do is share with you a technique I was taught many years ago that I think does a pretty good job in figuring out the true depth of the seed. And so if we think about planting the seed, we've got our, uh, our gauge wheels and they'll firm the soil down. We'll put a little tiny trench and then we'll plunk our seed. There's our seed at the bottom. Pretty straightforward, right? From there to there. There's our depth. How confusing is it? Well, it's actually a little bit more complicated than that because we have the closing wheels at the back. And so if we think about those closing wheels with their V-shape, what they're going to do is they're actually going to come in here and they're going to push that soil a little bit deeper on both sides and actually you're going to get a little bit of a rise in between the two of them. And so now the question is, where do we measure from? Do we use our, ga our gauge wheels? Do we use that little rise in the center? Or do we use the, uh, the depth from the, uh, the closing wheels? And so that's a bit of a, of a confusing point, or confusing point rather, but really what we have to think about is not the depth of the soil after the planter drives past, which we would probably use that if that was the case, but we have to think about the true depth of soil, the depth of soil that the seedling's actually going to encounter. So we're going to get some rain, we're going to get some wind, we're going to get some time and some gravity, and that soil is going to eventually squish down, if you will, and that's the true depth that the seedling actually has to go, grow through. So what I like to suggest is that we actually use the bottom of those little trenches caused by the closing wheels and we'll take something, a nice straight line, and we'll go with that and then we will come in with a second depth finder and we will measure from that line to the top of the seed. And it has to be the top of the seed because again it's the depth of soil that the seedling has to grow through and that doesn't start at the bottom, it starts at the top. And so hopefully that makes a bit more sense when we're out there taking a look at it. There are different closing systems at the back end of every planter. And so again, we have to be thinking what is the true depth of soil, the depth of that now compressed soil, you know, the week or seven days, seven or eight days to get that seed up and out of the ground. And that's what we have to be, be testing for. So with that, that's my quick Pride Seed Agronomy Minute. Here's hoping a very successful spring and looking forward to hearing all the success stories later in the fall.